Lonely people report more severe cold sy symptoms and systems. They've got cold systems and cold symptoms. I don't believe that um, because if I if if what I was told by every woman I know uh, that their that their significant other has the worst cold that they've ever had in their entire life when they're like reaching out to them. So how 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 do we know that to be true, Dara? Because we always have really bad colds, Rod. Know, wh what are you talking about? You never you never hear about like when uh, when uh, when 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 uh, dudes get sick and they lean on their like their girlfriends or wives or anything like that, and they're like they, they say that we're, like it's the worst sickness that they've ever had. Oh, I've been told that men when they get sick turn into complete babies. Is what I've been told. <laughs> yeah, what I've been told. Yeah, but if you had to, for instance, take care of yourself, when somebody is asking you to report on the severity of your cold, you might report it to be more severe because you don't have anybody woo 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 in you. Woo woo. Mm. Um, but this. I don't. I don't. I don't have anybody woo 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 in you now. My wife would be like, "Go get some juice." <laughs> It's Go. because more than half of the time <laughs> when you are sick, your wife is also sick. That's not that's not true. That only, is only in the past like like month <laughs> that happened. Past... Once 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 we had this little child with the with with, with the that incubates plague, that yes, now we get sick at the same time. But before that, that wasn't the case. Well, that's uh, because they, it went at night, you know, uh, they put a, their cold feet on us and it absorbs all the warmth that we <laughs> use to protect ourselves from our immune system. And then we get sick. I forgot I saw you tweeting about that before. <laughs> that shit is real, Dara. That shit is real it's as real. hell. I, it's my I, scientific theory right now. <laughs> Rod, listen, I, I am going to go with you on this science because I have my, my wife. My wife will put her cold ass feet on me and then be mad that I said her feet was cold. I'm like, no, but no, your feet it, are cold. That's like, it, it's making it uncomfortable. I, I can't sleep like this. And she's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> the other night, Karen, um, cause Karen put her cold feet on me. Um, and what I did was uh, I prepared. So uh, I went to bed fully clothed um, <laughs> to, Ward off the coldness, and she literally got an attitude. She woke up out of the sleep and was like, "What are you doing with pants on?" And I had to <laughs> oh my god, I've she, been there. She, she was offended. She was offended. Like how she dare? Was, how dare it you? Was really low. Even though the night before, I was like, "Could you at least put on some socks or whatever?" She was just like, "I'm low key offended. You got in a bed with pants on. That's ridiculous." <laughs> Sir, it's not ridiculous. You did, you did, you did what you needed to do to survive. Oh, gosh. All right, and, and Dara, right. Dara, have you never? Like, I mean, I I know that it's it's a it's a severe stereotype, but I just don't normally hear it in reverse. Like, like I've never put my cold ass feet on my wife outside of revenge. Because right. like, revenge, <laughs> revenge feet. Oh yeah, if I feel my feet, and like like sometimes I'll rub my own foot against my own leg, and like, man, my feet are cold. I'm put my feet that's on my wife. I, uh, that's more about survival instinct of me wanting to live. I can't just put my cold feet on my wife. <laughs> unheard um, of. No, I don't put. I'm. It's been a while since I've been in a relationship, <laughs> so maybe I'm misremembering. But as far as I recall, I don't. I don't even really like to be touched <laughs> at all. <laughs> Let's call up some exes and see what they say. Uh -oh, uh. <laughs> oh, I know at least one that we can call. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna tell me what I know, dog? Because he doesn't even count. I know who you're talking about. He doesn't even count as an ex. Not, not he either? was just around for like, that was literally three weeks. You've been drawing material <laughs> for <laughs> three years. <laughs> Off of three weeks. That Listen, wasn't I had to see his, I had to see his face too much. <laughs> twice. I, it, but it was too much. It was twice. <laughs> I, I, I said what I said. Oh, boy. <laughs> Anyways, the point of this study um, is that your, your perception can impact how severely you feel your symptoms. And this also uh, seems to hold true for um, other things, other illnesses, because it's not about, they're not asking about isolation. It's specifically about loneliness. So, you know, you can be in a room full of people and still feel lonely. And in that case, your cold will feel worse.